voice coach who got Duchess of Cambridge through royal wedding dies aged 48. Image consultant Anthony Gordon Lennox, who helped Kate avoid fluffing her lines at the royal wedding in April 2011, and also worked for conservative leaders David Cameron, Ian Duncan Smith, and William Haig, died after a short illness. The old Etonian, who was the Duke of Richmond's nephew, was brought in to help Kate with breathing techniques and voice control to ensure she did not suffer the same fate as Princess Diana, who got Prince Charles's various Christian names mixed up at their wedding at St. Paul's Cathedral in July 1981. He also coached Kate's dyslexic brother, James Middleton, who delivered the reading at the wedding, a passage from St. Paul's letter to the Romans. Mr. Gordon Lennox, a former BBC Question Time producer, worked as chief broadcasting officer at Conservative Central Office in 1996 and helped a succession of Tory leaders. He founded the London-based communications company Agle. During his career, he was credited with curing Mr. Duncan Smith of a frog in the throat that had blighted his career, teaching Mr. Cameron and Mr. Haig to work a room and helping Samantha Cameron flatten out her cut glass accent. Mr. Cameron said, he was one of the most kind-hearted and decent people I ever had the privilege of meeting. And he was passionate about his politics, wanting rational, moderate, reasonable arguments to win the day. It is tragic that he has been taken from us so early. Ant had a magical ability to help people get across in the most simple and straightforward way possible what they really wanted to say. Conservative MP Sir Nicholas Holmes told the London Evening Standard, it's the most tragic loss for his family and friends. It was completely unexpected. Anthony was one of the most talented men of his generation and a lovely man. Mr. Gordon Lennox worked as an image consultant for Lord Coe during the campaign to bring the 2012 Olympics to London and helped former United Nations Secretary General Ben Ki-moon. He also helped then 19-year-old student Amanda Thatcher prepare a reading for the funeral of her grandmother Baroness Thatcher in 2013. In a statement, his family said, words cannot express the sadness we feel as a family on Aunt's death. He was an extraordinary man in so many ways but above all a family man, a loving, loyal and attentive son, brother, uncle, and cousin. The statement added, the media have often described Ant as a voice coach. This is on account of his work with people such as the Duchess of Cambridge, her brother James Middleton, and Amanda Thatcher. In truth though, there was so much more to his work than that. Ant's role in life was to help people to be and to express their real selves, to find their voice metaphorically as well as literally, and there was a great deal more to this than delivery coaching. His family continued and wasn't merely somebody who touched countless lives. He changed them. We are so very proud of him.